Hey everyone, Kevin here. Is your smartphone secure? That is the topic I would like to discuss in this video. And the reason I'm bringing it up is because there's always security um, topics being discussed in the news and it's a big problem. Now, if you go back many, many years to the brick phones, the Nokia phones and things like that, it was obviously never a concern. Um, you know, it was just your phone. If you lost your phone, you got a new phone, you told your friends your new number and things like that. Today, though, with smartphones essentially being mini computers, there's a lot more ex more at stake. And, you know, your phone is one of the most important things that you carry around with you. But it's essentially a vault for all your data. Now, from my point of view, I'm, I'm greatly at risk of this. Um, if someone gets access to my phone, they can get access to my email, which means that, in theory, they can you know, use my email to get access to my websites. And when you read about stories about websites being hacked and all this kind of thing, more often than not, the website hasn't actually been hacked. What they've done is guessed the password to their email address and then done a password reset and then got access. That way, it's one of the most common techniques that hackers and things like that will use. There's always a kind of human element involved, a human mistake um, when, um, you know, a website is hacked. And a lot of the time, it's because the password isn't secure. But with a phone, there is always the risk of your smartphone being the source of any kind of security breach. Um, for example, if you go into a, 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 let me see, a restaurant, a cafe, coffee shop, um, it's common to use Wi-Fi in those kind of places because you're sitting there and you're going to use their Wi-Fi for your laptop and things like that. Now, even if they have a kind of secure password, they very rarely set it up in a way that's as secure as it could be. You know, it's there's lots of stories of people going into uh, cafes and there's been like exploits being um, being uploaded to the router or there's, you know, someone be gained access to the router, changed some things around. For example, maybe, for example, with the router, they've just kept the, they've logged into 192.168.1.0, um, which is normally what the routers use for the admin panel. And they've just left the password to admin, which means it's, anyone could go in and then move things around uh, change the password, change the security settings and things like that. There's always that kind of risk. You obviously, I mean, most people bank on the move as well. So you've got your bank details there and you never know where your data is going or whether someone is snooping with you. Even if you install something from the app store, from, you know, Google Play or something like that, there's never a guarantee that the app that you download is safe. It really isn't. Now, I've kind of touched upon phone security in the past. Last year, um, I reviewed Blue Phone because my ex-girlfriend had got the phone. I really liked it. I did a review. I did another review of a Blue Phone because they sent me, they saw that video and then sent me a cheaper phone and I did a review of that. Now, they've actually been in the news and it's negative because they said that they could be tracking people again. They could be tracking data and that's very, very bad. So I don't know what's right or what's wrong at this point. I don't know exactly what's happened, but I apologize. I mean, whenever I review things, if there's any kind of security thing, we'll always pass it on, but you never know what's going on eh, with companies. You've seen it with big companies like Volkswagen lying to people with tests and things like that as well. It was on Android Authority, and they said that a lot of their phones came installed with an MTK logger app that came pre-installed on their MediaTek-powered handsets. It had the, the potential to provide access to the command and control channel. This would allow add-ups to execute commands as if it's the user, meaning it could also install apps, take screenshots, record the screen, make calls, and wipe de devices without needing permission. That is very worrying. Very, very worrying. Now, in the defense, they've come out and they've said that that isn't the case. They've said that they've needed to collect data for OTA functionality, which is like configuring your phone, software updates and things like that. And they've said that the reason the data is going to a Chinese server is because that's where the servers are. It's no different to a server being based in the USA. So it could end up being that the issue with Blue is, um, you know, maybe it was a legitimate reason to collect the data, you know, and if, if it is for software updates and things like that, I don't see any real difference with a, um, a serve, where the server is located. I think if you buy a phone from a Chinese company, you can expect them not to have their servers in China. That's where they're based. Uh, I realize that more you know companies in Europe and North America tend to have more regulation and control, but you never know. The, the tech industry, there's a lot of 
There's a lot of companies doing fly techniques and, and sneaky maneuvers in, in order to get ahead. And one of the things we've saw over the last few years is the fact that big companies, the bigger they are, the more they're willing to do sneaky things, you know. Um, whether it be tracking your data, whether it be selling your data on, this is another thing. You never really own the data. Um, companies will install an app and then later on they can share information about where you've been, your GPS signal, all these kinds of things. Um, you see it a lot as well with Facebook and all these kind of you know pages with Facebook and it's like, would you like to, um, or even like an app on the Google Play Store, say an app on the Google Play Store and it's like, this app requires... And it's like all these different permissions and you're like, why does it need all this? And you know, it doesn't need this to operate. So it's always, you always have to be a little bit careful about what apps you install. So really this video is really just to get you thinking um, about security. Be safe, you know, make sure you've got a good um, password on this uh, on your phone. Make sure you take security seriously. If you want, you, sh you know, you should maybe consider using an app locker. That's something where important apps the, the, the person needs to, um, you know, unlock again. So you put in your secure code or you use your fingerprint sensor and then when they're going to use, for example, WhatsApp or Gmail or anything like that, they need to enter the code again and need to unlock it again. It's not perfect, but it does give you that, you know, added level of security. And really, you just have to be careful about the, the apps that they install. Uh, uh, you can install apps that aren't in uh, the Google Play Store and the App Store and things like that, but... You need to be careful. You need to know that the source is trusted. Be careful because most people's lives are through their smartphone. And I, I mean, I, it might not sound, I mean, people, uh, apps sharing the information that you've used as far as your browsing habits and things like that. A lot of people might not care about that, but you've got access to your messages. You've got access to your telephone records, your contacts. There's so much, you know, private information in your phones that you do need to take it seriously. Hopefully, phone companies are proactive about this. Um, I don't think it's fair to label all Chinese companies unsafe, but there are obviously less regulations in China. So be sure to you know choose a phone that um, has got a little bit be a better reputation. But blue phones, although it's a Chinese, uh, the phones are manufactured in China, they're actually sold through an American company. So it just shows you, you, you never know um, which company is safe and which it isn't. Um, if you know of any good security measures that you can rec recommend to other viewers of this channel, please let me know. Uh, share a comment in, in the comment area below. Um, this is something I need to take more seriously, um, especially because I work online and I make a living online. It's very important for me to remain secure and if for any reason this phone got lost or someone got hold of it you know, for a little while, I need to make sure that they can't get access to any private information that can really hurt me and my business. So take it seriously, guys. Even if you don't, you know, have a business or anything like that, you should try and um, protect all your data, protect protect your phone, and just be cautious. Not saying don't use your phone to its full potential, but be cautious about what you install, how you use your phone, and maybe sometimes it's safer to just use your data instead of connecting to the Wi-Fi in a public place. Thanks for watching, guys. Please do share your advice below in the comment area. Till next time, take care.